Brazilian and Olympiad medalist, founder of MAI, and an accepted student at Stanford University looking to study mechanical engineering. So, welcome, Zadora. Feel free to get started. Hi, folks. Thank you, Juliana, for the introduction. So, let's get started. Well, about YYGS. It was a program that made me see opportunities and prepared me to conquer them. I can say with all certainty that there are Isadoras before and after YYGS. I took the Applied Science and Engineering course. So in academics, YYGS um, allowed me to explore different topics in chemistry, physics, engineering, or even computer science. But the greatest highlight for me was actually the capstone project where we, we had to code a program in Python to analyze and classify the tweets of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And I had no experience in programming, like zero, neither my classmates. So I didn't know what to do. And it was like the biggest thing I learned there because I realized that I could start from scratch something and end up with a code that was working at the end of the two weeks. But still, the most important thing for YYGS, at least for me, and I think it's like the greatest characteristic, if you ask any YYGS student, what is the thing you like the most about YYGS? They're gonna answer the people. Because the people there are amazing. I don't think I have ever met so many people that were genuinely interested in learning and making friends than in YYGS. So more than learning how to program in Python, I learned how to make connections. And the interesting thing about YYGS is that it selects students with a great variety of abilities, but still they have similar characteristics, like personal qualities. So for example, I may have been selected for OIGS because I'm a scientific Olympiad, um, but you can be selected for OIGS because you've published a book with Giovanna's help, because she helps everyone to publish books on their Instagram. It's amazing. And still, even though we are all different and we want to do different things in our future, everyone there wants to learn, wants to make friends, and they are all so genuine about it. So WebIGS was one of the few times that I would go to the cafeteria without worrying about who I would sit with because I would just sit in any table and come out of there with 15 other new friends. It was an amazing opportunity. WebIGS taught me about life and I brought these learnings to mice. So I couldn't help but organize this event to share you how great an opportunity by my jazz is. And you also hear soon the story of other mice mentees that got into YYJS Jazz 2021. Um, Isabella, Guilherme and Julia, they're amazing. But now talking about the selection process, uh, my final average in high school was 9.8 out of 10. And th this didn't change much from before to after YYJS. Jazz. In extracurriculars, however, the change was kind of radical. So when I applied for YYGS, I included three extracurriculars. The first one was volunteering as an English teacher, teacher in an institute next to home. Uh, the second one was being a class representative. And the third one was MICE, which at the time just had like less than a month and less than 100 followers on Instagram. However, on the in Stanford application, on the other hand, I put MICE as my top one activity, this time with thousands of members, eight projects, and almost 3,000 followers on Instagram. And we just hit the 4,000 Instagram followers, so congratulations. <laughs> and the second extracurricular I put was a research project that I did last year during the pandemic. And the third one was my internship at an engineering consulting firm, Prodotari, where I learned about engineering, production systems, and programming. Uh, about the awards, they changed, but the level kind of reminded the same. So when I applied for YGS, I included a gold medal and in, a gold medal in the Brazilian Mathematics Olympiad, a bronze in physics, silver in the kangaroo mathematics, which is kind of an international Olympiad, 
and also bronze in astronomy and astronautics in the Brazilian Olympiad and silver in geography. But for Stanford, I put second place in the Brazilian Fair of Sci Scientific Initiation, um, a credential for an international science fair, gold in the Brazilian Olympiad of Astronomy and Astronautics, as well as national and state gold in international Olympiads of Mathematics with Borders. And finally, something that has completely changed was my essays. I really do believe that the essays kind of reflect who you are as a person. And as I mentioned before, there is Isadora before and Isadora after OHS. So I definitely changed a lot and OHS has helped me in that. So um, my writing in OHS was kind of more immature compared to my Stanford writing. And the topics were actually totally different. The only topic that remained the same was mice. So for OHS, I wrote about this national awarded ceremony because I was a gold medalist in a Brazilian Mathematics Olympiad, so we would go, we would travel for free just to receive our medal, so I basically wrote about that. I also wrote about my science project about dark energy and dark matter, and my volunteering work as an English teacher. I also, and I also wrote about when and why I created MICE. However, MICE was kind of really new at the time, so I don't really think that was that impactful for OHS. In the other hand, for Stanford, uh, MICE was probably the most important essay I wrote. If it was not, it was probably the essay I wrote about the Toyota production system. And I started that essay with tacos. So another thing like the hook you use to write your essays are really important because they're gonna read that in minutes and they want to feel engaged with your writing. I also wrote a letter to my future roommate. It's a pretty traditional essay for Stanford. And about the interview, so Stanford doesn't have an interview. I'm sorry, Web Jazz doesn't have an interview, but I had one for Stanford. And basically the interview was an opportunity for me to comment on my passions on a more personal level, like to actually show how much I, I cared about what I was talking about. And I think it's interesting to treat it like it was a job interview. So you can like um, make it clear during the interview how you will contribute to the university and what is that that only you can do yeah that's so cool and well before finishing why did you choose Stanford and why do you think they, they chose you so besides I chose Stanford because besides being a world-renowned university uh, with a challenging environment I, I kind of found myself in Stanford students because they have an entrepreneur, optimistic, and caring spirit there, and it just like was a perfect fit for me. It also located on Silicon Valley, and I want to be an entrepreneur, work with engineering, so it kind of matched everything. And I can't wait to like visit and take advantage of all the resources they have on campus. And I really do believe that Stanford chose me because of personal traits. So my personal statement was entirely about my independence and my autonomy. And it was one thing that my admissions officer mentioned on a personal letter that they sent me from Stanford. So yeah, I believe it was it.